Yo, what's up guys? Today we will learn how to use ads in our engine Infinite Runner 3D. You can use ads since the version 9.0. To use ads here is really really simple and we will not use a single line of code. We will do all of this to the custom editor. First of all, we need to check our Unity service. They need to be activated to make this thing work. So, how do we check that? Well, we need to go to Edit, Project Settings, and Service here. Now, okay, here you need to check that your company and your project are synchronized. If they are not, you will see here the options to make a project and synchronize it with your company. Okay, now, when your company and your project are full synchronized, you will be able to show ads inside your game. So, since the version 2022.3.21, it is really necessary to have Paul SDK installed in your debt. So, how we can install that thing? Okay, we can do this from the title scene or the main scene. In this case, I will use the title scene, but you can use both. It's your choice. Okay, if you click on it, since the version 9.0, you will see the ads manager here. If you click on it, it will show a new window below. You can see it here. Okay, you need to know that Unity will only show your ads in Android and iOS. Unity will never show your ads in Windows. We don't know why, it's a Unity stuff. Okay, now here in this new window, you can see that the engine is telling to you that the SDK is not funded, it is not installed in your desk. So you need to import it, so you need to click this in import Unity ADS package and you will see this warning telling that to you that you need to restart Unity to apply the changes. So now, you need to click here on import Unity package. Now, here if you go to the console, you will see that the installation is just started. Now you need to wait a second here. So once the package is full installed in Unity, you need to restart it. So we will close it, but always remember to save your changes. So now here, we need to go again to the title scene here, you need to click on it, and here. To complete the installation of the ADS manager, we also have to have the in-app purchases SDK installed in our Unity. Even if we will not use it, it's really important to Unity to make our ads work. So let's click on it and now enable the in-app purchasing. So you will see the message that tells to you that the purchasing SDK is not founded in your Unity. So let's import it here again. So let's click on import Unity package. So now you will see again in the console that the installation is still started. So you need to wait a second again. So once it finished, you need to restart your Unity again. Always remember to save your changes. So we are here again, so let's go to the title scene here, click on it. And now we are finished. Now we can show ads in our game with one click. So let's go to the ads manager and here you can see some options, a couple options. So first of all, we need to write here our Unity ID. This ID is really important because Unity check this to validate our application and pay us. So, how we can get our Unity ID? So, we need to go to the service, add, configure, and here we will find our IDs. We have the IDs of Android and iOS. So, in this case, we are using Android. So, we will copy this and paste it here. So, Unity will also ask for our ID unit. So where you can find these IDs? 
you need to go to project settings service and in ad purchasing in here we will go to the dashboard okay now here you can find the setting of the ads and the purchasing so in this case let's go to the unity ads monetization and you will click here and add units and here you can also see the ios game id and the android game id and here you will find your id unit so let's copy it and you will paste it here in this case is for android you can also change this id name if you want the first option will enable and disable the ads in or a scene now this option will enable the test ad um, we recommend to activating when you are testing your game to avoid bans. Now, the banner ADS option. With this option, you can activate the banners in your game. You can also choose in what position do you want your banner. For example, we will use the bottom center, so let's play on it. And now you can see the banner here in the bottom center. Okay, now reward video. It will activate the reward videos in your game. The reward window option is a window that appears when the user has watched the reward video correctly. This option is activated by default. You can activate or deactivate if you want, but it's advisable to leave it activated to let the player know if they want the price or not. Then we have to add buttons. We can add all the buttons we want. The systems come by default with the trade most common button. In this case, a button to give life. When the users click on that button, they will gain 3 life after seeing the ad. We have a second button. When the users click on it, it will win a key to use the hoverboard. And our last one button is here. If the player see the ad, they will earn coins. The buttons are customizable. You can add more buttons and add them here. It also comes with events. Let's see an example. If the player does not have a life, this window will be displayed, which says to watch a video and gain a life. These buttons will be enabled by the engine. If the player does not have internet or there are not ads available, these buttons will be disabled. Here we can add and customize the buttons. We can add as many buttons as we want. Let's remember that to add a button, we can simply duplicate the existing button. Or you can also create a new button by left clicking, UI, and buttons here. We can change the text of the button. Instead of saying 10,000 coins, it could say 500 coins and you can also change the button image. We also have this option which enables an ad before playing. If you activate it, the player will have to see an ad to be able to play. All these options can be enabled or disabled through the custom editor. This way we can add ads in our game. If you want to do it in the game scene, it's basically the same. The buttons in the game scene are a little bit different because in this scene they will be a random button. So let's see it. We are going to use the window that indicates that you want the reward. Here we are not going to add any another button because it is an animated panel and it is already configured and it don't need any really extra configuration. You just have to add what type of reward your animated panel is going to show. In this case, I can randomly win a life, 500 coins, or a magnetic item. There is a lot of options here, so let's see an example. And we have the panel. In this case, if I watch a video, I will earn 500 coins. If you click on it, it will show you the ad, and if we see the ad correctly, it will show you this window that says that we want the 500 coins. In this example, we have three options, life, coins, and the magnetic item. This panel will only be displayed if the video was loaded internally. 
So let's see the add. And now we want a magnetic item. In this example, the magnetic item only lasts one second. So let's change it to last 10 seconds. So let's go here. Duration item, 10 seconds. And now let's add another random item. So let's add a shield. And the last will be 20 seconds. Automatically tell me what image is. This will be the image that will be shown on the panel. And just like that, we can add ads in our game or application with Infinix Runner NG3D without a single line of code. So thanks for watching guys, see you in the next.